Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest as always. Thank you for watching. Today we've got part three of Dolphin is Awesome. If I could say it, Dolphin is Awesome. Say that fast three times. Today we're going to take a look at tags, comments, and ratings. And this isn't something that is obvious right out of the gate, that you've got the ability to go in and add tags and ratings and comments. And I think it's a way that you could really, especially if you've got a lot of documents and lots of folders set up, this is a way that you can really go in and sort things and search for things and group them in various categories and really zero in on exactly what you're looking for. So let's jump over to the Dolphin File Manager. We're going to go to Control and then down to Panels. Now if it's not already on, you want to click on Information or hit your F11 key and you'll notice that the information panel pops right up. So I've set up a couple of test documents. Uh, so we'll go over to that. I've got test doc 1, 2, and 3 here. So I'm going to select one. And we've got options over here when we select that. So you'll see a little bit of file information. But you've got tags, ratings, and comments right here. So we're going to go ahead and add a tag. I've got work set up, but if you wanted to create a new tag, you simply type the name of the tag. So here we will say personal and click save. Now that document is tagged with personal. You can also set up for more than one tag but we may save that for the last document. The next thing here that we could adjust would be rating. So right now that's set to five star. You simply click on the level of star that you wish to rate the file or folder so we're going to go ahead and bump that back up to five star. Now you can also comment here on this particular file. So let's say it's for a particular customer. Maybe this is something since this is, well no, this would be personal. Let's say that this is um, the Foo Fighters. They've got a new song out, so we'll go ahead and name that Foo Fighters. Actually, we'll go back in. Let's just make this the way it should be here. and Let's say media. So now we've got it selected for two tags, media and personal. We've commented that this is the Foo Fighters and we've given it a five star rating. All right, so we'll deselect that. Next, we'll select document two and we'll add the tag here of just work to that and we'll save that and we'll give that a three star rating. And that's given title, I put title in there earlier and let's just call this customer X and we'll save that and then we'll select the next one and uh, let's go with just one star here and we'll add another tag here let's call this one movies we'll pretend that this is a movie file even though it's not and then under comment we'll remove songs and let's just see here let's call this one Wonder Woman since that's a new movie out a new DC Comics movie and we'll save that so now that we've got these set up alright well what do you do with it again this isn't really obvious um, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing these videos because a lot of the power of Dolphin isn't evident out of the box um, you'll find it eventually but um, so you've got a couple of things you can do with the information that we've applied here. First of all, you could do a search, go to more options, and you could simply sort, uh, sort or search out by rating. So we could say one or more. So here you've got, now this one I had worked on earlier, uh, but you've got these other two documents here. And you also notice that the comment is listed here as well even though all I did was search for a rating. All right, let's go to two or more, three or more, four or more. So that's going to zero in on one. I thought I had one selected as four, but for whatever reason, that's not showing up. But you get the idea here. All right, so the other way that you can use this is through um, grouping, which is already selected here. If it's not, you want to select showing groups. And then you could go to sort mode and you could sort by tags. And once you've done that, you could say highest rating 
And now you'll see here, let's go ahead and close that out. Actually, we'll go into um, showing groups, sort by tags. So now here I've got a folder tagged as work. Here's my combination tag of media and personal. Here's the movies tag. And then here's the work tag. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, why don't you just create folders for your movies and keep all of your movies there? Um, you know, or create folders for work. Or, and, and you could do that. Um, I'm not saying this is the way you have to do it. I'm just saying this is an option. And one of the things that I find is when I'm working with a lot of media files, um, you know, doing things for Linux Quest or Destination Linux, sometimes I wind up with media and images and things all over the place, quite frankly, as much as I try to keep everything sorted. And also with some of my customer documents and things like that, I'll, you know, I'll copy from one folder to another. Maybe I'm doing some editing or something where I've got to put an image in and I've placed it somewhere else. And I just find that if you take a little bit of time and maybe use tags, you don't have to use everything that we're showing here. I just wanted to illustrate the power behind Dolphin. Then this gives you some options to really zero in and maybe, maybe tame your uh, file management a little better with the additional options that are available within Dolphin. So hope this helps. And um, there may be another one in the series. I'm going to kind of dig in and we'll try to determine if there's something else that warrants a whole nother video on Dolphin, but uh, uh, certainly go back if you haven't seen part two or part one. Those are going to be longer and maybe more in depth, but I certainly wanted to zero in here on the tags, ratings, and comments. As always, thank you for watching.